moving on and something a little bit more negative on my side of things. This is really depressing and I'm legitimately having to, I'm going to have to like figure out a way to navigate through this summer concerning my United news so that it doesn't affect my mental health. I'm, I'm being legit. I'm being legit because I want these people who legitimately thinks that my United are never going to be successful again until we get rid of the Glazers, until we get rid of those blood sucking, rat looking, um, you know, flipping horrible monsters and leeches that are sucking everything out of our club we're never going to be a successful club once again because they do not have any you know they don't care about sporting success they just want to essentially turn Man United into being some sort of commercial outlet that they can kind of siphon money out of but they don't care about us actually being um, successful in the football pitch which is what we care about as fans and unfortunately there are clubs out there that are doing both things they're also being commercially successful and they're also doing the sporting project well but for some reason the Glazers don't want to do that and they've had 10 plus years to you know show that they can do that they don't they don't they, they've made no effort to or when they do make changes they do it kicking and screaming you know they always hire from within and we're just so far you know beyond the pace of what everyone else is doing right now I feel that if we don't get rid of the Glazers that we're basically doomed that's my kind of surmising and this whole thing I generally do think if the Glazers don't get booted out of United and we keep them as owners especially as partial owners we are doomed especially when you think about how the other teams in the league are basically progressing and evolving especially look at a club like Brighton Brighton have essentially quote unquote come out of nowhere and they're doing great things on the pitch and off the pitch those type of clubs that know how to recruit well that have a clear sporting structure that have ownership that care about the commercial and the sporting side of things they're gonna want they're gonna be getting it right and with the likes of you know um sleeping giants like newcastle being arisen and whatnot arsenal probably feeling like they need to kind of get a get back from losing out on the league you know um at the last minute you got you got liverpool had a bit of a blip last season they're also going to come back chelsea are, def are definitely going to come back they're not going to finish you know the same position they did last season all of these things are in place which means that the following seasons are going to be w a lot harder than probably this season just passed so if we don't get rid of the Glazers we're fucking doomed so this news for me was incredibly heartbreaking courtesy of Sky Sports News it says Sheikh Sheikh Jassim says so, so submit sorry his fifth see I'm, I'm getting so scared and so worried that I'm fucking stammering through my words it says Sheikh Jassim submits fifth improved bib to buy the club from the Glazers family the only horrible thing about it is that he submitted his fifth and final bid, but he's also said here, courtesy of, um, what's his name? Uh, Kavanaugh, this Sky Sports analyst, that he's also fed up. Sheikh Jassim is frustrated and fed up. This takeover process has gone on for seven months, and I think we're all frustrated with it. Sheikh Jassim has said, this is it. This is it. This is his fifth and final offer to take it or leave it. We understand the bid is five billion with an extra billion to help fund the infrastructure, including players. The Glazers have until Friday to take it or leave it. Sheikh Jassim is a cash buyer. He's ready to go. So Jim Ratcliffe bid is a phase takeover, according to Financial Times. That means that he'd have 51% now and that the Glazers would be, would be involved for a few more years. That would be good news for the bankers who've been making money out of United for over 17 years. So Sheikh Justin submits his fifth and final bid and says that's a take it or leave it. But all the murmurs coming out so far from the Glazer side of things who currently own the club is that they don't want to sell it outright. They don't want to sell. They don't want to sell out the club. They don't want to leave. They actually would rather have somebody pay, let's say, the equivalent of four billion for fifty one percent retain a minority stake and then later on down the line sell the remaining stake for another five so then you make 10 so in the, in terms of maths and money making it makes a lot of sense what they're doing but for us fans it's so frustrating because it means these blood-sucking vampire-like leeches are going to be hanging onto our club for dear life sucking us dry influencing our decision making slowing down process of us signing players making us an undesirable club and just further and further and further leaving us behind the competition at the moment what we need is a full clean break 
Not even a shaking of hands from the Glazers. Like, just fuck off. Get out, get rid of our, get, get out of our fucking club. Let new owners come in with a new sporting project to start again from scratch. That's what we need because the club still needs to have a new stadium. We need a new training ground. Even if you're not going to build a new stadium, that actually, the stadium right now needs to be repaired. The roof is leaking. There are many upgrades that need to be made. We don't even have a screen in there, which is absolutely ridiculous. So all those things need to be updated ASAP. You need to get training ground. There needs to be improvement maybe for the, you know, for the women's um, and maybe some of the youth teams as well. They probably need some investment in that also. There needs to be a transfer budget set out. Players need to get sold. There's a lot that needs to be done. And the transfer window is going to be opening, I think, in what, two weeks or something like that, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken? So with that in mind, you'd imagine you need to have something in place to kind of know what is going on. Like, what's the deal? Are we selling or are we not? But so far, with the fact that the guys are dragging their feet and for what, you know, I, I didn't even realize it's seven months. It's been seven months since they declared their interest to kind of sell, which really was an investment thing. It's really looking like the Glazers favor the Jim Ratcliffe bid because it requires them to only give up 51% of the club, hold on to it, but still have somebody overpay for that 51%. Because if I'm not mistaken, Jim Ratcliffe's bid for 51% is like still around the 4 billion mark, 4, 3 billion mark, which is still a lot because they could, like I said before, double dip and sell the remaining um, portion that they have for another three or four, depending on how the club does, or it doesn't even matter how the club does because we've been terrible for the past 10 years, but we are still worth, you know, 5 billion upwards. So that obviously shows you how big the club is. But I am a little bit paranoid and sad about this because, and worried really, because essentially this is going to mean that we're going to spend another summer with no idea what is, you know, what the future holds, really. We're going to be hoping and praying with these absolute numbnuts and bankers and idiots that are, you know, at the boardroom level and ownership level who just don't know what they're doing. And for some reason, don't know what they're doing, but also are willing to kind of relinquish control. It's ridiculously unfair and upsetting and i have to really start to think about looking after my mental health and maybe not checking up on man united takeover news too often because if i keep checking up on it and i keep seeing people like jim ratcliffe's name being pushed way more than sheikh jassim or any other person wants to buy a club outright it's going to make me feel as if like the glazers are putting out word to their pr propaganda machines to tell them hey this is the one that we want we want this partial, uh, you know, um, sell um, strategy to go through and we're just going to ride it out, which is going to be completely sickening if true. And I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that's not true. Really, really hoping that's not true. But hey, we have to kind of wait and see. And the final bit here from this report from Sky Sports News is that he said, I've spoken to someone involved in the process and they didn't pull any punches. They said Sheikh Jassim is frustrated with the transfer window, opens up in two weeks time. They feel the process has been become a joke. The guy willing to buy the club already has figured out in the space of seven months how much of a joke the Glazers are. We've been saying this. We've been banging the drum for 10 plus years and people call us crazy. But yeah, hope the Glazers leave. Um, hope they sell. Really do. If they don't, you know, we have to go as far as boycotting the club. No fucking buying or fucking merch from the club stadium and shit. Like it's going to have to be, be some extreme walkout shit to kind of get those flipping blood sucking leeches out of the club. That's what needs to be done. It's probably not going to happen, but you know, one can hope. One can bloody hope.